Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Monday, June 1st, 2009. Well, we are seeing a positive day on Wall Street today, no doubt about it, folks. The market's really cheering the, the uh, General Motors bankruptcy, as it seems. We also had some positive news out of China on some stimulus moves, as it looks like their economy continues to turn around, and the markets are really taking a key off of that. You can see that the markets gapped up this morning very nicely. Now, we had that late-day surge on Friday, which was really led by Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs was at the lows of the day here uh, if you go back to the Goldman Sachs chart, and I can actually show it to you right here, and what you're seeing is Goldman on Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock leading the rally up for the squeeze. We saw a monstrous squeeze in the markets, and the spiders really took their cue from that and rallied higher, and they really never looked back. You see the gap up this morning right into this green trend line right here at around uh, 93.70, 93.65. Once they pulled back initially and then took out that green line, we were going to head towards the highs from the year. And this is the high for the year, folks, where we're at right now. Now, you're seeing a good sell candle on the spiders right now. This will be worth watching to see. It's going to be the first hit of the 20 moving average. This should be support. You're seeing Goldman Sachs come in a little bit. But the first little sign here all day long that we might have a little bit of selling coming in. Now, I don't necessarily think it's a lot of selling yet, although it could turn into that if we start breaking this level. This 94.50, folks, this 94.50 is a key key level in this market. I can't stress that enough. I'm going to show you how key it is. If you go back from current times on the June 1st is today, and if you go back to the beginning of January, let's go all the way back there now, you can see this 94.50 is right at the highs of the year for the SPY and the S&P. So we're right there, and that's really the resistance we're right above right now. We're right into that area on a basically daily level, and I can show it to you on the quickly daily level as well right here. This is right where we are currently. Follow that green line right across. You can see we're right into it right now. So this is kind of going to be one of those days where we got to see where we close today. I'm going to go over it in depth in the, in the Research Center video tonight. We'll really spend a lot of time analyzing what things look like on the daily, on the monthly chart, on the weekly chart, and the intraday chart. But for the most part, what you've seen today, folks, is you saw the gap up in continuation of the squeeze from Friday led by Goldman Sachs. You saw a nice move up, really taking out this green trend line of resistance. We went up right to this level, kind of consolidated on it, then it slowly trended higher. Now, why have we been trending higher? Well, Obama's been on TV. The General uh, General Motors CEO has been on TV. They've all been kind of soothing the markets, talking green shoots, talking this is the best thing. This is going to be a, a way for the economy to get back on its feet. This is going to be a way for General Motors to get back on its feet. You know, rah, 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 basically with the pom-poms out. And they've really been helping the market as the volume lightened up. And notice the volume here. It's been dead all since really around 1030. It started to really trail off. In fact, even at 10 o'clock, one, two, three, four, these four first candles of the day through 10 10 in the morning and then you basically go into silence mode really getting even quieter at 10 30 to all the way current times now you are seeing a little bit of a move in volume on this little bit of selling the interesting thing with this is that goldman sachs actually was breaking out has just come back in here we called this breakout beautifully on the rant and rave blog i can show it to you beautifully here we talked about this level right here on goldman sachs and we said watch for this it's going to break above why because it's hitting it one two three four four five six hits it gets weaker with each break look for a breakout above this level we posted that on the blog and sure enough made a nice move up for another dollar gain or so on that trade. That's a beautiful one right there in and of itself. But what you have seen in Goldman Sachs is a little bit of a move up and then a retrace and a pullback right here. So, you know, again, the market's all having a fantastic day. You actually have the Dow up about 213 points, the NASDAQ higher by 54, and that's just a monstrous move on the NASDAQ. By the way, the NASDAQ is now up basically 45% off the lows, and that's in less than three months, folks. 45% gain in less than three months in this market. It's truly amazing if you think about it. And the S&P 500 is up about 25 points or 2.7%. But in any case, just going back to the spiders, folks, this is what you're really watching for the afternoon session. You have the 20 moving average, which is good support here. This is the first hit of the 20, so it's going to be obviously support. Right below it, you have the 94.50 level. This is a very, very big level. And again, I showed you why, because if you go to your 60-minute and scan all the way back to the beginning of January, let's go back a little further here. All right, and right into here. 
There it is right here on 105, 106, so the January 5th and 6th. You can see this level right up here is exactly where we're currently into right now, and that's a very, very big level. Now, we're right above it right now, so if you come down into that, you have to anticipate a little bit of support. What I'm going to really be looking for on a closing basis today is do we close above or below that, and then where do we go tomorrow? And again, we'll discuss that more in the nightly video tonight for our premium subscribers. But in any case, a nice little sell candle, really the biggest sell candle of the day, even though it's not saying much, and you're really settling right on the 20 moving average with good support here. Keep Keep an eye on the stocks, guys. Today is another day, another good example of why the dollar is the key component of why this market continues up. And I can't stress that enough. The average person on the street does not realize that, and that's the bottom line. They have no idea that the dollar is really driving this rally. Why? Because it's a reinflation rally. The dollar has been getting hammered. It's getting, it's dropping again today. And when the dollar drops, you see commodities get a bid, and that was really the problem. Remember, oil was 150 bucks a barrel, basically, going back to mid last year, and now all of a sudden. It you know came all the way down to the mid 30s. Now it's back to almost 70 dollars a barrel. This is absolutely a dollar reason. And again, just to show you here, folks, let's put the chart of the UUP up and take a look at what that's showing us. And look at this, guys. And again, it's just a constant theme when we see the dollar down. Look at Friday, dollar down. What happened? To the market on market rallied on Friday. Dollar down again today, and you're seeing continued weakness in the markets here. So. Uh, Excuse me, continued strength in the markets as you just continue to rally up when the dollar gets weaker. And why is that? Because if you look at the USO, look at the USO gapping up and rallying again. So the weak dollar means higher commodity prices because all of them are traded in dollars. So a weaker dollar would mean that in general they have to go higher. And again, UUP is down. That means the USO, the oil fund is up. You can look at any commodity fund out there today. It's generally going to be positive on the day. And that's exactly what's leading the market up. You have stocks like ExxonMobil having a huge day. ExxonMobil's up about basically two dollars on the day that's a sizable move for the stock folks you don't see a move like that on Exxon every day without a doubt big big move on that Chevron CVX having a huge day as well uh, up basically uh, two dollars and forty cents on Chevron both major major moves you can look at US Steel is up 271 huge move on US Steel AK Steel up over a dollar just a monstrous moves across the board JRCC James River Coal up a dollar 82 anything commodity whether it's coal oil, um, you name it, metals, all metals, copper plays, um, steel plays, all of them are just soaring to the upside today, led by the weaker dollar continuing to play. Now, the key things you're going to really watch is you really want to start to watch this the TBT, which is the ultra short 20 year, you want to really start to watch the um, yields again because the yields have started to inch up. Remember, all of a sudden we were we were causing panic in the market because the yields were up, and then all of a sudden late Thursday into Friday they dived. Whether or not that was Federal Reserve intervention, that's up in the air for debate. But what they've done today is reversed and now been trading up, although they are dumping here a little bit. But in any case, you are seeing that happen right now okay folks now the markets are getting a tiny or, or pausing right on this 20 moving average let's go back to the spiders you can see pausing here but what I am seeing is Exxon Mobil beginning to bounce higher here and we'll go back look at that little sell candle on Exxon now move right back higher so you have to watch because if Exxon starts to go and Goldman starts to break back up and you can see X, uh, Goldman right here after that sell candle and a little bit of reversal candle with a little bit of a tail is now beginning to kind of pause here if they start to bounce back up this market will go right back up so very very key that you follow these you know, you're gonna really want to follow the dollar and through the dollar you're going to watch oil oil if the dollar goes down oil should go up you're going to also follow the yields yields are going to be a major component of this market if we go higher in the yields from here all right right now this is pretty much a non-event but if they do go higher that's going to be a big catalyst uh, on the downside to this market i believe and also you're going to watch goldman sachs and exxon those stocks if they're rallying this market's most likely not going to be lower on the day and you can see a perfect example today goldman is up over two exxon's up two bucks a uh, dollar's down that's those are key components to keep this market afloat and we're seeing that to the penny guys literally it's, it's like a, a hand in poker. You have the royal flush. You're not losing, and the market's not losing with these players up. So just continue to follow them. They will dictate the terms of this market. Remember, the volume right now, folks, is extremely light on this market. We're still hovering on the 20. Again, on the downside, 94.50 on an intraday basis. If we break that, you're going to start looking at the lows of the day down here. Right around 93.50 would be another major, major level for later today if we come down into that level. But just look at the move up we've had from basically the lows on Thursday, excuse me, the lows on Friday 
here at the at the trough here before we started to squeeze was basically 90.80. We're now at 94. We hit a hit a high of 94.91. That's over a four dollar gain, literally from this point at the low at three o'clock to the 10:30 high. Basically, in two hours of market trading, a four dollar move on the spiders. That is unbelievable, folks. Very very rare you see that type of move come in the market that quickly. I mean, over a day or two, absolutely. But in two hours of market trading, a shockingly amazing move. All right, so that's about it for now, folks. We have a webinar coming up on Saturday. We hope you come and join us. It's going to be amazing, and the, the things that we will reveal about cycle work and all these kind of technical levels that most people don't know about it. Also, come join the Research Center. We hope to have you aboard there or in the chat room. Take care, folks. We will talk to you soon.